Hello and welcome to our latest video. In this one, we're going to talk about Diablo 4, the upcoming action RPG from Blizzard that's set to launch on June 6. As many of you know, the developer has held multiple beta test phases for the game and has now revealed some changes that have been made based on fan feedback. So let's dive in and see what's new in Diablo 4. First off, let's go back in time to Blizzcon 2019, when Diablo 4 was first announced. Fans were ecstatic about the sequel to 2012's Diablo 3, and Blizzard received wide praise for the game. Since then, Diablo 4 has garnered many pre-orders from existing and new fans who have kept up with its development and wanted to get their hands on it. And because pre-orders included access to the beta, countless players have logged into the latest incarnation of Sanctuary and provided their perspective on what could be made better. And Blizzard has listened. They have confirmed that the Diablo 4 beta has resulted in a number of changes to the upcoming ARPG, with expected class balance and boss adjustments included in the mix. But beyond what many Diablo 4 players may suspect, Blizzard has also minimized the amount of backtracking that players will have to do when going from one dungeon to another, with more dungeon events added. The Diablo 4 sellers that are intended to reward players with loot and renown have been made to yield a chest every time, which rectifies something that beta players noticed wasn't working properly during the test phase. And the bosses have been altered as well. Malnok, Vihenard, and Tchort have been adjusted due to their difficulty for melee players. These bosses have had their fights changed in a way that may differ significantly from their original encounters in Diablo 4. The Butcher was modified to be harder to defeat in the third and fourth world tiers. Among other quality of life improvements made to Diablo 4 since beta are crowd control breaking abilities for every class that have similar cooldowns, removing an attack speed buff that was unintentionally created by move cancelling and user interface moves that Blizzard fans may prefer. So there you have it. Blizzard has made some significant changes to Diablo 4 based on fan feedback from the beta, and it looks like the game is shaping up to be an even better experience than we initially thought. And remember, Diablo 4 will release for PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X, S on June 6, so mark your calendars and get ready to delve into the world of Sanctuary once again. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.